Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to break down the 15 ball rotation for you guys. So we start with the break. As you can see I didn't hit them very square but it doesn't really matter when you play rotation. The only good thing about hitting them square uh, is that you have a possibility of making balls on the side. As you can see I didn't make any ball which makes it a little bit more challenging for me, means that I gotta run out all 15 balls. As always in rotation, we're gonna start with ball in hand. And the first two shots are pretty elementary. I had to draw back just a little bit for the two ball to get a correct angle to get to the three. If you are not familiar with the rotation, um, it is pretty much 15 balls on the table and you have to run them out in numerical order from 1 to 15. So as you can see, I'm going to show you a little diagram on the top right corner, which spin I'm using for every shot. And I'm also going to draw a little circle on the table as the area where I want to put the cue ball after each shot. So I hope this demonstration is going to help you to have a better idea about my thought process. So this ball from 4 to the 5 is actually very important because you don't want to get the negative angle on the 5 that goes towards the 7 and the stripes because there's too much traffic so I really have to control my draw. And I actually got perfect for the 5. I'm pretty straight as I can see. Uh, so I would just play a simple stop shot, maybe draw back just a little bit to have a good angle on the 6. And as you can see, the biggest problem on the table is 9 ball. So already here, starting from 6, I'm going to think of the proper angle to get to the 7, which is going to allow me to get a good angle on the 8. And then I'm going to use 8 as a break ball to open up the 9, 12 problem. So I'm going to try to get perfect on the 8, so then I could just draw back into the 9 and open it up. As you can see, I have a pretty good angle. It is quite exactly what I wanted to get. So now my goal is just to have a really nice, smooth, long draw shot uh, because I'm obviously not straight, I have a slight angle and I wanna open up the nine and 12 the way that I still have a shot after it. It is gonna be really hard to control those two balls, but I wanna hit the nine on the left side of it so it goes towards the right side of the 12. So then I either have a shot on the right or left corner. But see what happened, I opened it up, but I ended up being in a quite tricky position. Well, I can still play the nine in a left corner, as you can see, I was checking the tangent line to see where the cue ball is going to go after I make the nine. It's an extreme thin cut, so to be honest, in this type of shot, I'm just going to be focused on making the ball and I'm adding the top right spin in order to make sure that the cue ball has more action after hitting the 11. So here we go, <laughs> another top spot. And yeah, I'm checking it, whether the 10 ball is going to the bottom left corner. It doesn't, so I just have to go for it. I have to take a thin cut into the bottom right corner, which is not as extreme as it looks on camera. So my goal is to make sure that the cue ball ends up approximately the center of the table. As you can see, the cloth is new and it rolls fast, so I overrun the position. So now, tricky shot again, but this one is a little bit easier because I'm going to use the bank system, I'm going to measure it. And here is the area of the cue ball where I want it to end up in after the shot. Perfectly made. And now just connecting the dots pretty much. In the moments like this, it is really important to just 
take a deep breath and reset yourself because it happens so often in the match where uh, you would make the hardest job on the table and then miss the last few balls where it just gets easy. But because you just had to face a really tough shot, you feel like your concentration just left. So it is really important to reset and start over. So I have three more balls left. Just connecting the dots. It is never easy, especially on four and one eighth inch pockets on the diamond. So you gotta make sure that you hit it very smooth and soft. Yeah, just like that. So this is it guys, that was a run out. It wasn't easy, it's actually very challenging, but it's a great way of practice because you're gonna improve a lot. Let me know in the comments which shot was your favorite and I'll see you in the next video.